live on really small islands. A lot of them are geographically isolated from a lot of the modern day commodities and access to, to transport. And it's a food basket that's right at our doorstep. Coastal fisheries are the fisheries that the vast majority of Pacific Islanders care about because they're the food security, they're the livelihoods that they rely on. So fish aggregating devices near the coastline are really important for um, community fishers. They mean that, that they can go a little bit offshore and catch those uh, pelagic or oceanic fish that uh, are around those areas. Māori me kore i a tu a to tatu tu puna me kite toka e te e te kati me kore te taura i me kore kote tāwhiri. Fads are fairly costly. They cost between five and ten thousand dollars to be able to deploy on any one island. And obviously, there's a there's quite a bit of technical know-how that goes into the design, the construction, and also the deployment of fads. We've been quite fortunate in um, having access to some really good technical expertise from SPC. Uh, we know some of those programs are funded through MFAT. We've been able to create online training of not just for MMR staff, but also outer island participants, whether that they be from island administrations or fishing clubs, so that they're learning all about fair construction, maintenance, deployment and the like. Where we need to, where we need to supplement the, the technical expertise within MMR, we can bring in uh, different local experts from time to time, which is quite useful, and, and broadening the, the skills base and expertise, not only from the regional level at SPC, but at the local level as well. Ratu te mea ka hui matu ki e ratu e, e a ta ratu preference na te papu ae, e a ta ratu ngā i mana koe, ka pua pinga te fed me me tuwe. No te mea a ka muni te fed, me taro ke te tukuanga, kare me tuku koe ngā i kare eika, kare kai te nga fed.